Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about a fun, unique and different way of practicing tarot reading. So if you're sick of using the same methods to practice your reading skills, then this video might be for you because it involves a game which I feel everyone's talking about at the moment, a browser based game called Wordle in which you have to guess what the five letter word of the day is. It changes every single day and you input five letter words until you get the right word and they will let you know whether you've got a letter in your word which also is in the, the secret word of the day. They will also tell you if it's in the wrong place or the right place. So eventually you get a few guesses until you can pretty much work out what the word of the day is and I basically thought wouldn't it be fun if I used my deck my cards to try and guess what the word of the day is I think this is a good idea because it challenges you to think outside of the box you could look at the card literally the actual word might literally be in the card you might have to be clever with something else a bit more abstract about the card it could be an emotion in the card colors in the card I think it'll be really cool to use the comment section below if you have tried this or you want to try this or what you think of this idea I love exploring different ways of testing myself and learning tarot because it gets boring sometimes you want to freshen things up a little bit something similar along the same sort of wavelength as this is hiding objects around the house I love this forum online where people from around the world are hiding objects and getting people with tarot decks to tell them where it is it's such a refreshing fun thing to take part in and I think it's quite similar to this really I'll tell you how I do it it'll hopefully inspire you to do it at home as well so before I start with today's wordle I'm going to show you the two tries I've already done of this because I've done this for two days now and it's been really interesting and exciting it gets me even more excited for the word of the day and me and my partner are already buzzing about this <laughs> about this game we love it we used to actually play this exact same game but with numbers so we basically think of a five digit number and then the other person has to write different like sequences of numbers until we get it right. And then they make this game and we're kind of like, damn it, we could have done this ourselves and made a million pounds because apparently the guy who made this is like balling now. <laughs> but anyway, so the first time I did this was the most interesting out of the two, I think. The beauty in what this method involves is the fact you have to kind of find the reoccurring theme in all the cards shuffle the cards and I would I would recommend pulling about four cards because that doesn't restrict you too much because with one card it's very very difficult but then when you've got four you can kind of see where those four are related or what you could just do is see how many cards fly out so you could just basically I would, rec I would recommend doing more than one card three to four five maybe a bit too much so you'll see that in my first go, I had what seemed to be the most perfect card for a, for a word like this, and it was the Ace of Cups. There's water everywhere on this card. I also had the High Priestess here, who does have um, water like by her feet, by her legs. Then the Queen of Wands would... <laughs> I kind of saw the humour <laughs> side of the sequence of cards because of the word being moist. Um, my mind goes somewhere in particular when I think of that word. If it's not cake, it's something else. And the Queen of Wands does, is a very sexually charged card. And the High Priestess, who, who literally did make me think of the ocean. And I was going to put ocean as my first word. I wish I did it as my second, but I didn't because I didn't want to reuse a letter. But I wouldn't have ended up reusing a letter. So I, didn't know, I don't know why I thought I would have. But anyway, I chose fruit first because there's passion fruit behind her in the High Priestess and I kind of just felt drawn towards that. But it's funny because I've heard many people refer to the passion fruit that's supposed to be behind her as a sexual reference once again. Anyway, the badge and plonk words were nothing to do with the card. So I said to myself, next time I'm going to challenge myself and actually use all words that feel related to the cards that I pull. And then we had the guesses I did yesterday. And so it really interesting here happened actually. I gazed over at the cards and I just looked at all of the figures and said to myself, what do these guys have in common? Like particularly the fool was throwing me off because the, the fool feels so different to what everyone else feels. Like the nine of pentacles feels very different from the fool and the king being there. I was like, mm, if I'm gonna push this and try and find some sort of 
relevance between these guys i would say that they are all that that they are all very assured people like self-assured um and obviously assured wouldn't fit in that box <laughs> but i was like assured 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 they're assured and i was like is assured even a word i put assured in and it you know did pretty well and i never do pretty well in this game i always think of a word that's completely off so the second word i then submitted it was a struggle but i finally settled with think because the swords is about the mind it's about intelligence it's about thinking the fool literally doesn't think the main part of the fool's message is that he does before thinking oh and also the nine of pen pentacles because time to think and reflect she's not on the go she's not on on autopilot she has time to rest up it's hard to think of a word that doesn't have the letters you've already used and then i ended up guessing the remaining letters because i, I got another green letter so though it didn't get me the the word the first time it got me to guess it in three which i've never done before and also the fact that i said is it assured a shard it sounds like shard the way the first place my mind went was shard shard it's like saying it in a different accent or something so it's just a really fun little experiment it's just a little non-serious thing and i thought it'll be fun sit and do this with me while i do it so get your deck out i've got loads of decks here if you want to borrow one <laughs> if anything this is an intuition activity to be honest because it gets you trying to pick up on your gut feelings and or you can hope it gives you an emotion or a random word like should that you didn't even know was a word the way i always do this is i wait for jumpers i don't like picking the card myself i want a card to fly out and i want to feel very confident with it okay oh i got three actually so my cards are actually one of three of my favorite cards maybe it's something to do with that the idea of it being something i like my favorites something i enjoy so i have the fool the ten of pentacles and the empress so now i've just got to sit and reflect to myself what i think these cards could be referring to so what i'm thinking right now is they're quite bright yellow they're all very positive they're happy optimistic then again the outfits oh god this is where i get conflicted this is where more cards are more important because it steers you in a direction but I'm looking at the two, would it be dress? They're wearing a dress, right? A similar looking dress. And they've also got some sort of robes in that card too. See, the fool came up for my other one, which ended up being shard, which I forgot to mention, by the way, there were two swords in that sequence, which could have, could have led me to the idea of something sharp, like a shard or causing harm. And also jumping off a cliff can very potentially break you, cause harm. I've got to bear in mind the aspect of like danger, I suppose, but these two don't feel dangerous at all. Not like those other cards that had loads of swords in that could potentially have been dangerous. What about the idea of the fact she's a mum? This is about a family tree, the generations of people in your family, and this could be someone new entering the family or the child of the family. The Empress is great with advice. Could she be supporting or like guiding? Guide? The, the fool is at the very start of his journey. So he is the child, he's technically a child. There's no page here though. So I have a problem with that because pages is children. I might regret this, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go with child because otherwise I'm gonna be here all day freaking long trying to work out what the first word to use is. I'm sorry if this doesn't. Ah, oh, that's like one of the worst. <laughs> case scenarios I can imagine. <laughs> so my strategy is never using the same letter twice unless I'm about to put in the, the word that I think it is. So I'm going to pick a word that has none of those letters again so this won't be the word that it actually is. I said at the beginning they're all positive cards. Um, the ten of pentacles often makes me think of great grand figures. It's your family tree like that goes like beyond just your mum and dad. The Empress is usually positive, it means that things are in abundance, great, grand, big, and the Fool, bit of a push. He's definitely not doing something small, he's taking great risks, he's, do he's got big ideas. Anyway, let's input this, see what happens. 
I could probably guess it now, right? I could probably guess it now. I can't believe that. Oh my God, I am shook off. So what I, what I usually do, I just put like a, an X and then I do um, L R E A. <laughs> and then I do the words that I know it is. If the word is pleat, I mentioned the damn skirts and he literally has a pleated style skirt on. So I'm, uh, if it is that, I'm gonna be annoyed. Why would pleat be 10 of pentacles though? Maybe it represents the fact it's a very old word. Like that word literally peaked probably in like from my grandparents the 1700s well i say my grandparents i mean my great 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 i mentioned great didn't i let's just put pleat in see what happens it might not even be pleat so yeah oh my god impressive i know what do you think uh i think this is a very good kind of addition to add to the game itself so if you're bored of just doing word on it word on its own you can add another element to it and i think that it also is a good way to make you properly investigate the cards and see more of them that maybe you hadn't before you can see them on a different level from a different perspective this was fun i enjoyed it and if it got me to my word in in three or less then i'm very happy about that so i'll be trying it tomorrow as well let me know what you thought of this funny silly method whether you're a tarot reader or not i think it's interesting it adds a different vibe to the game and you can even do this from like flicking through a book maybe that you have and then just putting your finger on whatever page and place you want looking at the word and seeing if you can maybe play word association with yourself and put some words in that link to that word that you've pulled that you know it's just a bit of fun let me know what you think subscribe to my channel if you like content like this so if you want to see more stuff around this kind of topic then do subscribe like this video if you want to see more content like this and follow me on social media such as twitter facebook and instagram if you want to see what i get up to behind the scenes sending loads of love from my house to yours bye everyone